Ba, 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 ba. Let's go with everybody's favorite overall. Married relationship uh, lady. Uh, wow, what a face to start off a video. <laughs> Shoot on the head. You, you, you sure you feel okay? Uh, let's, let's go with a smaller screen because. <laughs> oh, little lady. Oh, wow. What what a face. What a face to start. She looks like, like 10 miles of like, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> no, she looks like 10 miles like, I'm done with this shit. Like, how many men have to be after, like, hags? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> wow. Just. Wow. She looks like she's just had enough of this shit. Oh, that, that is a face worth a thousand words. And I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Commander D. Um, this, is my, this is my wedding outfit. <laughs> or like, you know, just like debut of my tuxedo. Uh, yeah, so white tuxedo with green. Who would have guessed? <laughs> oh wow! Uh, no, she looks like she's done with this shit. She's looked like she's absolutely had it with men uh, these days. Looks like she's had it with like just a lot of things actually. Um, wow! A uh, poor shoe. Okay, so let, let, let's get started, right? So, I'm Commander D. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, there is no information on Miss Lafayette yet. She has not contacted me this morning. More likely, she's on the bus on the way here. That's all I can say. Or she's not awake yet. Uh, wherever she's at. So, let's get started. A shoe on the head. Hag maxing. Okay, so before we get into this, I'm going to give my thoughts on hag maxing. Um, not going to lie, not a fan of it. Simply because I'm not in the older women. Uh, I am into women my own age. Um, possibly a little bit younger. But as far as hag maxing go, hell and no. Hell to the no. I, I'm not in the hag maxing. Okay? Like, people that are definitely have a kink. Uh, I'm not kink shaming. Everyone has a kink. Everyone has a type. You know, like, Good for you. You know, you have a type. You have a kink. Um, that's not for me. So, shoe on the head definitely looks like somebody whacked her off with a shoe. Uh, we're going to get into this, obviously. So, this is a popular thing in the VTube scene, hag maxing. I think it started out with, um, and I quote, MothraCon. The MothraCon. Uh, Definitely, overall, left a bad taste in my mouth. I'm not going to go into that. So, let's get started in this 20-minute video. Thanks to various social and economic factors and the rich, evil, pedophile clowns that run our gay, retarded government, the American dream of owning a house and having a wife and two kids is dying. And the Zoomer Coomer fantasy of a rich, older girlfriend taking charge I mean, to be honest, people have always been after, like, people that have more money than them. Let that be known. Whether you're a male or female, 
There are people that are always after somebody that is older and have more money. It is a thing that's literally existed throughout the years. Um, and yet I'm getting a girl that knows that I'm in a financial crutch and we're willing to work things out together like holy crud. Charge and making you chicken nuggies while you play video games in your pajamas all day is thriving. Back in my day, we called this cougar hunting. Or, you know, mommy issues. But the kids today cougar are calling it something and mommy different. Issues. Yes, Tag maxing. Yes, I, that's, that's what I quite remember. In my last video, I jokingly referenced the term hag maxing you've been on a date with a 40 year old okay that's different i was how is that different he's right it's different you're robbing the cradle he's hag maxing educate yourself which greatly intrigued a lot of you so i decided you know what i'm going to make an entire video dedicated to covering this phenomenon gen z men going out of their way to date older women what is this why is this happening is this happening and if it's happening is it a good thing or is it a symptom of I will mention, I don't know anybody that's currently hag-maxing in my life. Um, a lot of guys are staying single because, like, they can't afford to have a woman or, like... There, there's a couple guys that I do know that got married to a woman that is in their age range where I live. And they're close friends of mine broader societal issues. Why are all these young whippersnappers scooping up these older timepieces? Oh, um, speaking of timepieces, let's quickly get into today's sponsor, Holtzgern. Holtzgern is a young Austrian company that creates uniquely crafted watches, jewelry, and accessories using all natural materials like wood and stone. Their high quality timepieces come in various I'll be back designs later on men today and where I drag Personally, I'm a huge keys, fan of their men's watch collection, like the solar powered watch called the Comfort Crusher. That's made with fine grained walnut Islam, wood and yeah. encased in stainless steel. The walnut wood comes from here Islam. in North America, uh, and all the wood I, Holtzgern uses are FSC. Name certified, her, her, ensuring her, that it was forested her, uh, in a sustainable way. I got my husband the like Open her, uh, Horizon watch, modeled after a real pilot's watch. Holy it comes crap. with a beautiful green marble dial and even has a built-in stopwatch function. He loves the sporty yet professional look, making it a perfect choice to wear at both work and home. And it would be a great gift for any cougar looking to spoil their Zoomer boyfriend. Just saying. The watch I picked out for myself is the Colorburst Automatic Watch. It has a unique green mosaic embedded in a stainless steel oh, casing, is and its wooden strap watch. is really easily like adjustable that. to fit every wrist. Holtzgren's products nice. are made in small quantities to ensure that each item is built to last. They do a great job Oy, combining the functionality and fashion, and I just think their watches look really neat. Holtzgren also creates elegantly crafted earrings, rings, bracelets, and necklaces, like this platinum-plated shade necklace. The store has accessories Ooh, for both I'm men and women, get, like the durable forte bandlet for men made from orange-white marble, or the duet bandlet for women made with zebra wood and elegant gold stainless steel. Nice. All items come with a two year warranty and ordering is super easy with free express shipping to the US and most EU countries within two to five days. So if you're looking for a gift for someone or you just want to treat yourself to a nice Thank high quality you. watch, I definitely Honestly, recommend like, checking out their store. Good, like, just click the link in the video description know, and use my advice. special discount code SHU at checkout to get 10% off your order store wide. So big thank you to Holtzgren for sponsoring this video. For now, like let's get back like, to it. One thing I can say about Gen Z Shushi, slang dude, he definitely looks gives maxing, all, like, ag maxing, good riz, sus. For, back like, in my day, we had our epic bacon and raffle copters, and we were happy. Now, when I think of the term hag, I usually think of an evil, cackling witch. But no, apparently now it means women above 30. Fuck you guys. I'm so tired of comments that are like, I used to watch you when I was in third grade and now I'm graduating college. <laughs> Good for you. Awesome. Congratulations. My knees hurt when I get up off the floor. Now this term hag maxing went viral a few months ago with this screenshot. Meet the hag maxers. Gen Z's new social trend of dating older women. A very strange oh. phenomenon is making its rounds on social media. Gen Z men are ditching casual sex with their women to pursue long-term relationships with financially stable and experienced millennial ladies. Now, even though this article doesn't actually exist, it was a meme created on 4chan, because of course it was, but the meme did spark a massive so conversation and debate about hag maxing. And people had a lot of strong opinions about it. 
motherless behavior. This is just mommy issues rebrand. Another day, another psyop. It's not hagmaxing, it's milf hunting, and it's an art. Please don't misappropriate um. my fetishes, giving the dumbest name known to humankind to having a mommy kink. I mean, to be honest, I'm 16, waiting for a 20 to 25 year old to pick me up, lol. Okay, officer. I'm gonna throw up. I would love to have a 40 year old sugar mama who buys me gifts and pays my bills. Drizzle drizzle. Young hard dicks and the older women who enjoy them. This isn't new. Hagmax bandwagoners are so cringe. I've been hagmaxing You'll since second grade in Miles Johnson's hold, class. Hold open in a uh, funny way. I am going to kill uh, every last Gen Z and Gen uh, kid on this planet, including myself. I want to be a hagmaxer, lol. Any female taker, XD. I like thick milfs and I cannot lie. Oh nice, it must be I socially acceptable for 37 okay, year old men to date 20 year old women again. Whoa, 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 let's, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Absolutely not. <laughs> Ah, I f***ing love adult women! <laughs> women over 32 should be illegal. Now, according to the very astute, always reliable source, knowyourmeme.com, the term hagmaxing is very popular in the VTuber community. Now, I don't have much interest in the yeah, VTuber community, it's because of um, my but they seem to have a lot of interest in me. A lot of interest. Should I do a video reacting to VTubers reacting Girl, to Girl, you're men? married! That might be fun. Let me Stay know if I should do that. Stay the hell Although it seems to be a meme amongst the VTubers and the weebs, it is apparently a thing happening in real life. Rise of the boy toy. Why older women are dating Gen Z men at record rate. One woman stated, Women my age seem a to be excited by the freshness and lack of bitterness broken. that comes with dating someone younger. Younger men seem more open and less they don't even by insecurities. They're gonna, they're gonna okay, I have a feeling broken. I'm going to be saying this like a hundred times in this video, Holy but could you imagine shit. an article like this with the genders reversed? I love dating these young, fresh boys. They're less bitter. They have less baggage. They're not ran through. People would just be calling it red pill incel shit. Age gap relationships between millennial women and Gen Z men are on the rise. Our analysis of age hypogamy reveals the pragmatic underpinning of these relationships. It sometimes comes down to who's available. Many older men prefer to date younger women. The same is true for a lot of older women, with millennial and Gen Z men emerging as appealing Dear dating God. options. For their part, many Gen Z men might have few opportunities to date women their own age or prefer to date older women for- Okay, I'm not gonna argue with this analogy because, like, there's a lot of women out there, uh, like, the current generation be like, Ooh, men in dating. She's already covered this stuff. i covered my thoughts on it in the past, like, how women feel about men dating how women feel about dating men these days because they feel like men are like disgusting and weird and stupid and cringe and criminals and you know what that's depressing that's depressing I can see now why hag maxing is a thing various reasons enter millennial women and I'm proud to be a millennial with my side part and skinny jeans. If you're an older millennial woman, you might be attracted to younger men for their energy, inclusive views about sex and gender, and superior care and literacy about their partner's emotional well-being. In many ways, Gen Z men see millennial women as an opportunity to level up emotionally and socially. With their evolved attitudes about everything from non-monogamy and gender fluidity to the anti-hustle soft life, Gen Z uh. men may be the most likely generation to overturn powerfully entrenched stereotypes about sex and relationships. The kind feature- The one thing ain't about a real relationship, you don't care about age, you don't care about religion, you don't care about our income. What you care about is each other. Or personal beauty. You care about each other. You care about what's inside. You care about oh, what's truly special. You don't care about age, money, religion, government factions. You care about each other. 
inspired by podcast bros. I love how millennial women have just psyoped themselves into believing a man who thinks f***ing a whole bunch of different women at the same time with no romantic commitment is an evolved way of looking at relationships. Like, yes, queen, that Zoomer you're banging is so open-minded and progressive. He's not like those podcast bros. <laughs> I swear modern feminism is like the greatest trick men have played on women. Like just a bunch of dudes got in a room one day and were like, hear me out. We convinced them that getting naked and sleeping around is empowering. Genius! Even Hollywood seems to be hopping on the hag-maxing train. Why are so many older women dating younger men in recent rom-coms? I'm old enough to be your mother, sighs Anne Hathaway, as she passionately entwines with Amazon's new heartthrob, Nicholas Gallen. To be honest, this is not a normal trend, by the way. I mean, like, this is a trend that's been existing for years. Even when I was a kid, there was a couple of teachers I wanted to get with, but I, I knew my place. Um, a bit of a difference between me and this current generation of Gen Zs. Uh, but even more so, I will admit that this definitely falls on uh, several situations of people not knowing the difference between right and wrong. People not understanding boundaries. Real boundaries, at least. Not the boundaries you see from those toxic female VTubers when they don't understand acting with lewd tubers. Don't get me started on that shit. We'll be here all day. Um, not understanding... Like, just getting out there. Like, I get a lot of men... Don't want to get out there and, you know, just like touch grass, you know, have a life, go out there, touch grass, meet women, you know. Oh, and obviously you go like walk up to a woman at a local like bar or restaurant that's sitting there all alone drinking a cup of coffee, you know, and they're looking sad, you know, like you need to go up there and go like, hey, uh, everything okay? You all right? Need someone to talk to? You know, obviously, like when you want to make a move on a woman, when you want to meet a woman, you need to put yourself out there. You need to be a player. You need to be a player. You need to start talking to women. You need to touch grass. When you talk to women, women want to be talked to and women want to be heard. All you have to do is go, okay. Like, this woman's alone. Maybe I have a shot. Like, at a diner, or at a bar, or even, like, at a restaurant. You know, you see a woman sitting there all alone with no one around. Like, this is your opportunity, you know. Go ask them what's wrong. Listen to them. And give your own, own perspective on, like, obviously how to help them. That opens windows to, like, obviously making you a good person. Like... And you see all these people on the internet talk about boundaries with, like, lewd tubers and stuff. They don't even get that when a lot of male VTubers talk the way they do with lewd tubers, like, they're playing into the act, they're giving into the act at least about 69% of the time. <laughs> like, the magic number 69% of the time, they're giving into the act of a lewd tuber because that's what gets male VTubers noticed with lewd tubers is you play into the act. But, like, in real life, when you want to date someone, when you want to find Mrs. Right, when you want to make a move, you know, and you, you see someone that's been alone for a while just sitting at a table staring at a cup of coffee at the bottom of the cup of coffee, you know, maybe you should, like, Offer them, like, you literally tell the bartender, or maybe overall the restaurant uh, woman go, like, or, like, employee, whatever. Like, you go, like, hey, um, I want to buy that woman a cup of coffee. Seems like she's having a hard time. You know? Tell her, you know, like, it's for me. Write down a little piece of a note on, like, a moist, not a moist towel, but a piece of... 
paper or like a napkin and say, here, deliver this note and give that woman a cup of coffee. Looks like she's having a hard time. And that's an honest way to make a move on a woman. It's romantic. It's a nice little gesture. They like that. Also, like, yet again, this is my tuxedo uh, outfit. Um, green and white. I think it's freaking awesome. It's adorable. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and the red really touched, the red hair and the red rose really touches off with the green. But, uh, yeah, so in the long run, when you want to make a move on a woman, there is a right way and a wrong way in hagmaxing. Oh my god. My fellow men, what are you doing? If you want to make a move on a woman, you need to be a player, is what I'm saying. You need to put yourself out there. You need to be a player. You need to make a move. You know, like, you know the Yu-Gi-Oh meme? It's your move! Yeah, when you see a woman alone and sad, it's your move to make them feel better. Do something unique, nice, a nice little gesture, like a cup of coffee or something like that, or a soda, you know, and give them a little note. You know, and then when they look up at you, go like, give them a little wink, you know, with the with your eye, give them a little wink, or just wave at them and say, hey, uh, you know, that's, this is me, yeah, I did that for you. You know, it's nice little gestures like that. They'll get you noticed with girls. You're not supposed to walk up to a girl, you know, that's having a bad time and go like, hey, babe, you want to get it wasted and overall hit it up in the bedroom? That's an instant way to get slapped across the freaking face. That is not how you make a move on a woman. Holy fucking shit. Like... There is a right way and a wrong way to get with a woman. And hag maxing is definitely a kink, but it's not a kink for me. I don't the kink idea shame, of but Oh, Anne Hathaway? I'm sorry. Hag Who, what is hag a max for me? with Anne Hathaway? Like, <gasps> what a forward whoa. young man you are! My goodness! Like, this phenomenon I put myself is a groundbreaking out there on the shift, and considering Hollywood's reputation for perpetuating the male life. gaze and old men's it's uncanny it, obsession with like, younger women. You know, I, I really don't care about this. The financial shit, situation but I'm in. It is in a so bad funny how much this equality we stuff is just it okay. Now it's women's turn to do the thing we said was bad. All the new strong the female leads in movies that are just kind of assholes. The celebrating of billionaire female CEOs. Like, did you actually want change? Or was it really all just penis envy? Older women partnering with younger men. Why do some people have a problem with that? Perhaps celebrities will help ease the stigma. The French president's wife, Brigitte Macron, is almost 25 years older than her husband. They met when he was 15 and she was his high school teacher. Wait, that is not good. There should be a stigma against what? Maybe these high-profile women will help shatter the stigma and normalize the benefits of widening our options when seeking romantic partnerships. After all, at every age, we deserve what our hearts desire. No, no, no. When you are a grown-ass teacher and your heart desires an underage student, you do not, in fact, you do not deserve that. that. So what am I reading? I'm 37 and my boyfriend is 23. I make upper six you figures and own a condo in New York City. At least three of my Crazy. friends are also dating significantly younger men. One is 32 and has been dating a 19-year-old for three years. I don't rely on men to be financially stable. I don't need my man to have a good job. We both know what we want out of this relationship and we're getting it. You know, honestly, good for this wo Wait, one is 32 dating a 19-year-old for three years? Oh. Oh, no. We older women aren't man-haters. We have a lot of love and make a man feel like a man. We are not drama queens. We can't get pregnant. <laughs> we are very sexy. I'm not like the other girls. I'm infertile. <laughs> men dating older women is called hag-maxing now? Why can't men just be normal? Why does everything have to be misogynistic? No, 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 no. It's not misogynistic. The term hag here is endearing. We're taking back the term hag. It's like when black people took back the n-word. There's something seriously disgusting about men taking advantage of women's loneliness for their resources. So when it's a younger man dating an older woman, the younger man is still the predatory one? 
What? You guys just uh, cannot win. Really? This is so disgusting. Okay, so let's get into that, right? Like... Hold on, let me... Uh, the man is not unguilty here, nor, uh, like, I guess, like, it really depends on the woman, okay? So, like, the man is not the guilty one here, all right? It depends on the situation. It's really, it's really, really touchy, touchy, sensitive, sensitive, all right? So, like, let's just say, all right, the woman's older, right? And the man's younger. Let's put this in a scenario. Like, okay, younger man wants older woman. Older woman uh, is known to, I don't know, have a bit of a... Uh, let's, just, let's just say less than savory habits, right? Less than savory habits. A uh, younger man and does not know this. Older woman, and obviously knows about all younger men and is not into it. Ends up dragging younger men into habits. Not good idea. As I'm trying to be obscure as possible. With this scenario, because there could be several hundred different ways this scenario can be done. Or maybe it's the other way around, you know, like, older woman, clean and nice, no oh, nasty habits. Younger man having nasty habits. Um, and wanting cleaner woman. And to clean him up. It's not a woman's job to clean a man's nasty habits. I'm gonna be real. If you have issues, if you have habits on either side of the way or like stuff like this, it's not for the other to fix the issues. You need to uh, fix each other's issues together. Like dreamwork makes teamwork. I don't know what to tell y'all. Like when you're in a relationship, you need to work your things out together. And a lot of people wonder why I you know, I got a lot of female artists Still following me right now. Still the predatory one. It's not because what? I'm a male oh, VTuber artist win. myself. Really? This is so it's disgusting. It's because I'm a not guy old. that knows like how hack. relationships are supposed to work. Okay, so we've heard from the hacks. Now That's let's hear why from so the hack men. Why are me? these young men it's dating really older women? I have mommy issues. Oh, well, there has to be other reasons, right? I have a granny fetish. Come on, th there's got to be another reason. Because Gen Z women aren't worth going Either for. Either that or they want to sell me art or, issues. you know, have me for... <laughs> To like, be honest, as a guy who's 22 dating a 36-year-old, um, I think for the most part, older women are just a lot like less that. drama like, and just I do all my own art older the better. Like most have a car, a house, financial stability, and time. They are mature and can teach you some valuable lessons, wisdom, and experience. I'm still 19. Of course, a lot of these the artists don't get that VTubers have a different are much art more style and presentation than style compared to most Honestly, streamers. it's partly because modern Western girls from 18 to 25 are like 80% hoes now. A woman who is 30 today likely has fewer partners, sexual or other, than a woman who is five years younger than her. I changed my Tinder age range from 20 to 25 to 30 to 39 and have been going on more dates than ever before with beautiful women who do not care that I don't make six figures at 22 years old. It's either take care of a younger woman who we know is potentially a flight Bring risk or a blow my fucking woman. Out. George W. Bush married an older woman to get that money. I don't think George W. Bush should be a role model for anything. Easy, no, he sex, should not! Conversation, more fun, and they treat you nicely. They tend to be more grounded. Did I mention the sex part? Oh, and if it's post-menopause, even better. If girls can date older men... You can't tell, but I'm getting the twitch back in my eye again. So... Okay. Okay, this guy's mentally disturbed. On so many levels.
Why postmenopause? I don't get this. You're fucking disgusting and you're disturbing me. Then why not younger men date older women? I'm 16 and I'm not attracted to anyone below 30 years old. Ah oh yes, the elusive reverse pet file. Dating a woman with a career, property, experience in bed and life. What's not to like? Young sluts want the money up front. Old sluts are just happy to get some attention. Older women fed me, slept with I me, mean, and sent me on my way with older snack women, packs. Legit women amazing. In general do I'm 26 like now attention. dating a 38 year old after years of trying Let's talk about this. Like, one thing women want most of all from a man is their freaking ear. They want your ear. They want you to listen to them. And then, after they're done talking, they're like, so, oh, what do you think? A given honest answer. Women like men that are honest with them. But then when they say, uh, does these pants make my badonka donk look big? Lie! Lie out of your fucking ass! Lie, 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 lie! They do not want to know how big the badonka donk is. Go like, that thing looks as cute as you were uh, ever since we were in high school. Lie! Lie! For God's sakes, lie! Last thing you want to do is overall say something that literally has them grab a sword and cut your head off. Lie! With women my age and younger. They are all social media obsessed narcissists. I feel like they're hyping up millennial women too much here. Oh, they're not narcissists obsessed with social media. You guys weren't around during the MySpace days. Have you ever met a Gen Z woman? Who would want to date them? They're me, 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 give me, 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 take care of me. Man, if- Uh... There's been women throughout the years that have always been like this. Let it be known, there's women that always been like this. It's not just Gen Zs. They've been around for the longest time. And... Those are women that are looking for sugar daddies. What is a sugar daddy? Well, for instance, it's a woman that's looking for a guy that has a lot of money that can get them anything they want. Instant sugar daddy. A woman looking for a sugar daddy, you definitely never want to be a sugar daddy. If the ones my age ain't loyal, might as well. They're basically like a grandma caring for you and taking care of you. Oh my god. Nothing like a no denture adventure. You people are sick. No, I don't believe this is happening more than ever just because Gen Z men like easy sex or gifts. Or that Gen Z women are too obsessed with drama or social media. No, I think there's more to it and I have a few theories. So as we talked about before in other videos, a lot of men are dropping out of college. The issue is a lot of young college educated women want college educated men. See, Stacy is looking for someone college educated who's making more than her, but not that many young men are on that level. Uh, the thing about college these days is overblown. I'm gonna be real, sure it gives you the knowledge, but it doesn't give you all the knowledge. When you go to college, like, they teach you, oh, like, how to do the job effectively, but they don't teach you how to get the job. Let's just say, all right, you want to be a lawyer, right? You want to be a lawyer, you're fresh out of college. How do you get to be a lawyer? You don't get it instant facto right then and there. Like, I don't know what to tell you. You need to work up for it. You probably first start out off as an assistant or a secretary to a lawyer. Congratulations, you got your first step in. Next, obviously, you need to work hard, get a portfolio going, working underneath that lawyer, learn everything from that lawyer's office, from the paperwork, to the presentation, to obviously the court cases, if you get an infused with the lawyer, or handling the court cases with them and then like you learn you need experience you need to learn obviously you get all this experience you earn the lawyers trust he's like okay so you've learned from me you learn from college all right I'm gonna give you your first ca court case don't screw this up 
And no matter what, uh, uh, you know, you do well at the court case, he may make you a lawyer. He may not. Or let's just say you want to become an IT tech person, right? You want to go to college. You learn how to work with computers, you know, make them, you know, obviously program them the whole nine yards. This is where you obviously have to do a lot of like freelancing jobs for like technology companies such as computer programming, building, like you make these freelance things and it gets you noticed in the uh, computer sector, right? Or programming sector. You write down each and every transaction, you write down each and every like modification program you made, algorithm, the whole nine yards. You put it all down on digital paper and, well, digitally and on paper. You make a business portfolio. Then when you have a proper business portfolio, you go into a computer IT tech company, you present the paperwork, you present and the digital work, and you show it to them. They go, huh, well, it seems you're very good at what you do and you have high credentials. You're hired. This takes time. When you get out of college, don't expect instantly to get your dream job. You got to work up for it. You need a business portfolio. You need to do this. Not a lot of people know that about college. College only gives you the knowledge, not the tools and the means. Good Lord, how, how innocent people are. Well, yet. Older men are, but not many around Stacey's age. But you know who doesn't care? Karen. Karen doesn't care about your oh, life. Oh no, not degree. the ca Karen oh, wants to pick you up in her 2013 fire. Toyota minivan and bang you in the back seat, then take you to Olive Garden. No strings attached, unlimited breadsticks. For basically all of human history, the most prevalent age gap was older men and younger women. But why? Well, it's because men are all disgusting creeps who should be thrown into work camps and castrated and forced to make us pumpkin spice lattes. But also, it's because younger women are more fertile and the the whole point of relationships is to make babies, or at least it used to be. Well, at least in our lizard brains. That's the whole point. I don't know what the point of modern relationships are anymore. I just learned recently that people purposely get into short-term relationships, which is bizarre to me, like what's the point? As well as situationships and polycules. The world is very confusing. It turns out people are different than me. Now let's be real, hagmaxing Okay, so the whole thing she just mentioned there are like short-term relationships. Uh, the people that got to know my father, like, they're in a long-term relationship, but they're not married. They go like, oh, we're married, but we're not officially married. And I'm thinking like, wait a minute, so how does that make sense? You're married, but you're not married? Like, by state, you're not married, but you say you're married. How does that make sense? Excuse me? Okay, when you literally want to get married, you go through a whole process of getting engaged, you have a wedding, obviously, and you go out for your honeymoon, and then you start focusing on each other, you know, like your future together. Like, it's how a marriage works. A marriage is not like, oh, hey, I like you. Woman goes, I like you too. You want to get married? Yeah, let's get married. But at the same time, let's not go through a wedding. Let's not uh, go through all this. You know, let's not uh, go through all that and just say we're married. Bet, bet. That's not how marriage works. It's not how a wedding works, like. It's not how me that's ah! simply does not make any sense from a evolutionary biological standpoint. But it's 2024. We have surpassed the need. Also, may I mention the people that are taking care of my father? The man is the younger one in the relationship. The woman is the older. The woman literally has. 20 years on the dude. 20 years, approximately, if I remember straight. And the dude is in my generation. 
He's exactly my age right now. I am not kidding on that. He is, he is in a relationship with somebody that is literally over 20 years older than him. I'm scarred knowing For that. evolutionary biology, we could grow babies in pods and also kill ourselves in them. Our brains are full of plastic now. Men wanting to be with younger women made sense when babies were the goal, but babies don't seem to be the goal anymore. For many older women who simply don't want to have them, and for- Babies were never really truly the goal. It was to have a relationship, a loving and endearing and long-lasting relationship. It's- Really the true goal. Children are just a, a side effect of a bedroom playing. Adult bedroom playing. Let's put it that way. Children are a side effect of adult bedroom playtime. This is how I'm going to put it gently. Unprotected adult bedroom Playtime is how I should exactly put it. For many younger Gen Z men who think they can't afford them, or even worse, are scared that having kids will contribute to climate change. It's like every other week I see- That's dumb. You're dumb. Anybody that thinks that is dumb. That's dumb. An article, fear-mongering Gen Z, don't have kids, it will increase the carbon emissions, blah blah blah, you have to save the planet. You know what increases carbon emissions? You know, obviously it deteriorates the ozone layer and all that shit. Fossil fuels. Fossil fuels. It ain't farts from babies, it ain't diapers, it ain't cat all dung remains. It's emissions from cars. It's literally the fossil fuel that's being burnt out from cars. It is gasoline, folks. But I'm not going to say that we need to get rid of gasoline right away. Like, right now we need to find a more viable, more healthy fuel source. Hey, I dare say, hey, like, please forgive me when I say this. But I think cars running off of... What was it? Um, there's been a few cars made throughout the years that have run off of fr uh, oil fryer, fr or, or like used oil from fryers, from McDonald's even, or like Burger King or whatever, or like any place really, like old fryer fr uh, oil. You have that of uh, cars that have run off of like, Freaking moonshine! Moonshine is a viable fuel source. The only problem is that uh, the distilleries are so unstable they go kaboom! If not properly watched, that relies on human ignorance and belligerence and neglect on uh, making sure that it doesn't overheat and fucking explode. Also, too much ether. I know these things. I know these things so you don't have to. But even more so, like, I've seen cars run off of, like, let's see, there's, oil, uh, like, peanut oil. Like, freaking peanut oil. And, like, the only reason we don't have these cars in de current day is because the car motive industry is, like, Nah, we would have to take all the cars off the market, replace the motors with new stuff, that'll hurt our wallets, that'll hurt our money, that'll hurt our fortunes, you know, like, if it's better for the earth, then why not do it in the first place? Because it'll hurt their fortunes. What? It's not baby diapers. It's not cow dung. It's not freaking farts that's hurting the atmosphere. It's fossil fuels. And first of all, I gotta ask, who the fuck we saving the planet for if not future generations? Oh, and FYI, like, 
nuclear generators are far more stable than they are since like the early 1980s. Like, don't even get me started on that. A lot, a lot of power problems in the U.S. can be solved by nuclear generators. Like, these things are far more stable and capable than before. And it's really, really impressive. I mean, sure, there's a chance of nuclear meltdown. But the chance of a nuclear meltdown happening in the modern day is literally that out of one out of 100% chance a 3.92% chance of a nuclear meltdown in a properly built nuclear power plant facility. The only way that can happen is somebody launches a god dang MRAM missile right into the facility. And somehow it ends up rupturing the overall old coolant rods, uh, overall containment unit, and literally causing the whole place to freak it and fall, start melting down and cause a nuclear explosion. Causing nuclear winter, that which I get a lot of people are worried about that, but at the same time, the chances of that are minimal at best. Because these facilities would probably be protected by military personnel and Corps of Engineers that are trained to handle these situations. But people are not smart enough to know that. I blame the education system. So if Gen Z does not want kids, if they think they can't afford kids, why does being with a fertile woman even matter? Might as well date an older woman. Might as well scramble those... Rotten eggs. Oh, editor, edit that out. Edit that out. No. <laughs> But believe it or not, hagmaxing is not really a new thing. It's been around for a really long time. Hundreds of years, even. In fact- That's me, every time when I make a bad thing, I'm like, edit that out, edit that out, oh, oh, editor's on, edit that out. I'll be like, no, nah, it's fucking funny, we're gonna keep it. This is why I stream my reactions now, because it's freaking funny. There was a very famous hagmaxer in American history who wrote an entire letter of why it's preferable to sleep with an older woman. It's and that hagmaxer's name, well Benjamin no, Franklin. Is. No, I'm not kidding. Benjamin Franklin literally wrote about the benefits of hagmaxing. And what's funny is a lot of the reasons Benjamin Franklin gives are the same reasons a lot of the Zoomers who hagmax give today. Because as they have more knowledge of the world and their minds are better stored with observations, their conversation is more improving and more lastingly agreeable. I mean, to be fair, this also follows on. A lot of the older generation doesn't want to talk with the newer generation. Maybe overall you find like with somebody, an old man, you know, you're a dude, you got an older grandpa or like a neighbor that's older, and you want them to get some knowledge of the past, walk up and talk to the guy and go like, hey, um, I want to know how things were in your day. Just listen to the old man. He'll give you knowledge beyond your years. That's how I got a lot of my wisdom and knowledge and how it changed my life. I talk to older generations, all right? The difference between me and a lot of Gen Z's, I actually talk to people. Because when women cease to be handsome, they study to be good. So basically, she can't rely on her looks anymore and has to develop a personality. Because there is no hazard of children, which irregularly produced may be attended with much inconvenience. Because through more experience, they are more prudent and discreet in conducting an intrigue to prevent suspicion. They're easier to cheat on your wife with. Lovely, because in every animal that walks upright, the deficiency the of the fluids that people? fill the muscles appears first in the highest part. The face first grows lank and wrinkled, then the neck, then the breast and arms, the lower parts continuing to the last, as plump as ever. Benjamin Franklin really just said, the ass is still fat. Incredible stuff from our founding fathers. I will literally never be able to look at a picture of this man the same again. This is no longer the guy who discovered electricity. No, this is the great American hag maxer. 
So basically, <laughs> some Gen Z guys have found a hack in the male loneliness epidemic by dating the women who are suffering from the female loneliness epidemic. Like the two unwanted ends of a bread loaf coming together to make a sandwich. Beautiful. Two people who believe they are the leftovers of society. Two people using each other to temporarily numb the pain. Or maybe it's not that f***ing deep and it's just a funny meme. To be honest, I don't think this is an epidemic, like the internet makes it seem like it is. All the data basically says that women prefer to date men slightly older than them or around the same age as them. And men tend to date women younger than them or around the same age as them. Large age gaps, for the most part, are rare. In relationships where the man is older, he's usually only older by one to two years. In relationships where the woman is older, two to three years. In all Western countries, only 8% of couples have an age gap of 10 or more. And couples with a larger age gap- May I mention the guy that is taking- The guy and woman that is taking care of my sick father. The woman is older by a 20 year age gap. That's fucking creepy. ...have more of a chance of getting a divorce. But it is a rising trend to think about and keep an eye on. As the social landscape continues to change, so will gender dynamics, and I find that very interesting. But that's enough of my yapping. What do you guys think? What do you think of hagmaxing? Have you ever hagmaxed? Would you hagmax? Personal- My thoughts on hagmaxing... Everyone... Has a kink. Everyone has... A... E overall like taste for like something you know everybody has a different way of wanting something special I don't kink shame what I do shame is poor decisions kinks are not poor decisions everybody has a kink everyone has a taste everyone has a type Everyone has a different feel for something different. But at the same time, not a lot of people realize that that's a thing. All I can say is, as a male VTuber that's, you know, put themselves out there and you know, oh, finally being a person in this life and finally getting someone soon. Do yourselves a solid. Pull yourselves away from your devices. Just, just for like an hour or two. Go to a bar. Go to a restaurant. Go talk to people. Just go out there, talk to people. Learn to communicate. And you'll be better off and you'll find someone. Don't be me. And communicate with somebody online. And, and find love that way. Just get out there and be a player. Like a real player, not a video game player. Get out there and be a player and find someone. And you're looking for love, you're always going to get hurt. I get a lot of people are afraid of getting hurt or abused or used. But at the same time, it's the way of life. It's, way, it's how people grow. It's how people change. It's how people get character development in the real world, okay? You want character development? You want to be a person? Put yourself out there. I have been Commander D. Thank you for on the head for obviously covering the uh, the hag meme movement. Obviously, like give it up to her. I'm, I'm just gonna like finally just subscribe to this little dame. Uh, she's married, by the way. I'm not into her. Like I'm not in the married women. Uh, might as well give her a thumbs up on this one. But I'm not in the married women, like, obviously, I'm not willing to overstep that bound. If she was single, oh, hell yeah, no, nah, like, darling, like, if, if you were single and if I didn't, if I wasn't expecting someone, like, I'd date you. But at the same time, you're married, you got someone, you probably already got a child or two, like, I, 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 I don't know, I don't know. But at the same time, darling, like... Congrats on you. You were oh, 
You know, you touch the grass. Give it up for Sugar on the head. She, she touched the grass. Like, all I can say is to the cadets, go out there. Be a real world player. You know, just talk to people. Just talk to people. I've been Commander D. This has been a small little live stream. Um, I may be back later on today, sometime after 10. Um, hopefully then I'll have some information on Miss, uh, you know, Luffy the graphics artist. Until then, <laughs> I'll see y'all on the next planet. Farewell for now. Thank you, Shoehead, for obviously entertaining us with your cringy knowledge. In retrospect.